What's going on, Crows? Welcome back to another video. You're looking at this title going, wow, what the heck? And I thought the same exact thing. Is that a ferret in the back of my truck? Oliver, what are you doing back here? Huh? What are you doing back here? YouTube hasn't seen you in a little bit. I'm gonna show you more often. We're gonna make a whole video on you. Woohoo! So dang cute. But uh, Oliver's out here hanging out with me next to the GoPro that I'm giving away right now on my Instagram. So if you haven't entered that, go enter. Simply just like this video, subscribe to the channel, and go to my Instagram for the following like two other rules that are super easy. My Instagram is Paul Cafaro, at Paul Cafaro. That's it. Come here, buddy. Come here. Today, we don't have the greatest news. We don't have the greatest news, but we have to make the best energy out of what happened. Without further ado, though, Cafaros, I'm hopping right into the video. I kind of filmed all this on my iPhone, but everything will make sense by the end. So watch to the end. I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Posting tomorrow. Run free, little ferret, run free. All right, roll the iPhone. All right, Cafaros, definitely a different type of video. Um, not all hoppy, jumpy, and cuts, and music, and all that, but that's part of having a farm. Things happen, and I don't know what's wrong with my mallard duck, but she's limping. Y'all know she loves to fly around, come back, and uh, yada, yada, yada. Lives in here 99% of the time with my other ducks. This is all the ducks right here. You got the Pekin, the goose, all these, and beautiful green grass now. She sometimes even goes over to the cows over there. You can see the cow and there's a pond all the way on the other side of the property. But I've been seeing her over here sleeping under this. So in the shade, not normal, let's put it that way. Something's wrong with her. As you can see, she's over here. She's flying perfectly fine. I've been putting food over here for her the last couple of days. She hasn't been up and acting the same, limping a lot. This duck I have had for, I mean, who knows how long. This is my baby, my little, my little duck. If y'all remember a while back, I was fishing with my friends on the West Coast and I found this little duckling swimming around in the canal, drowning. It was literally drowning. It had no feathers left. Its mom completely left it and it was drowning in a canal that had sea walls that were about six feet high off the water. They looked like this, and there was no way for this duckling to get out. So I jumped in the water, and I saved it. Bro, he's just a little baby. Come here. He's oh, gonna he come help. help. Yeah, he's stuck. He oh. Just so good. That's the clip of me actually saving her as a little duckling, and I grew her up, raised her. In here, just as I'm raising these little baby Muscovies with their mom right now. It's the same exact thing. I raised them the same way. She's not acting the same. I don't really know, but this is like literally one of my favorite animals on the farm and I'm not gonna watch this happen. So I'm gonna pick her up. I called a bunch of different vets, which one would take a mallard duck. I said, do you guys take in uh, mallards, this duck in specific? They said, yes. Yeah. So I'm gonna get her, put her into a box and bring her to that vet and see what they could do. Hopefully they could figure out what's wrong with her and fix whatever is wrong with her. This is just not normal from her and um, See how she opens her mouth like that? I don't know, I'm not gonna bother her. I'm gonna get a box, put her in the box, and make this happen. But all the little ducklings are getting so big, they don't even fit through this anymore. Here's the box I'm gonna use. Take their food out of it, because the dang rats are crazy over here. I always keep boxes that I rescue animals. I rescued this mother Muscovy in here with all her baby ducklings. And that's the box I got her in, so. I wish I had someone to help me film this. This is on my iPhone. I, like I said, it's not a normal video. I gotta grab her. She, she can still fly. So gotta be real careful. That was much easier than I thought. And she's not all that terrified of me. Again, I, I raised her and she was just a little duckling. So she's not like scared of me. She just doesn't like to be touched, which not many ducks do. She's so pretty, but her head's all messed up because she can't run. And these guys like to, you know, stay in there. Look how beautiful that wing is. Wow. Come on. Go in there, don't give me trouble. Perfect. She's in the box. We got her. Good to go. I'm going in. Um, I have a duck. I know they call it. Well, that was really weird. I went to the wrong one. They're like right next to each other, but I went to the wrong one. Um, got the box, ducking it. I'm gonna go in. I probably won't film inside, but I'll let you know what they say. This is why I don't film on my phone. This is where, how do I set this thing up? Right there? I got this thing. And I gotta fill it out. It has a little hole thing under its under its wing. It legitimately looks like it got shot. Fill this out, and we'll see what happens. Patient's information. Dog, cat, with the checkbox. I wrote next to it, duck. It's neither, it's a duck. What's the name of our duck? They want us to write a name down. Comment down below a name for our duck. Right now, I'll wait 
and I'm gonna look down there and find one. And, and I'm just kidding. The video will be live by the time I fill this out. Anyway, name the duck down below. I'm gonna name it for now, duck. If you look under the left wing, the left wing, it's a little mallard. She's a female. And it's under the left wing, there's a little hole, but I don't wanna like go dig my, you know, finger in there and see if I can find anything like. But it very likely could be what I'm assuming and what I've called a couple friends and could have been, it could have been shot. Okay. Like by a pellet gun or something. Hopefully you find out exactly what's wrong with it. Yeah, okay. Like I mentioned at home, I went, I couldn't film it cause I literally have no one to film this for me, but I went and lifted its wings and kind of seed on the side that it was limping. There's a little hole in all the feathers. I'm assuming y'all know YouTubers, their houses, you know, people come to their house all the time. I have people that show up to my house every once in a while. Please don't, by the way, please don't. But people have showed up and someone shot the mallard duck in the wing. That's what I, I'm i assuming. But it very well could have been a BB gun, um, one of those plastic BBs or even a pellet gun where um, it has like one of the metal BBs. Checking this duck out and we'll see what happens. Seeing like, Five minutes when she comes back out and tells me what the heck's wrong with my duck. How are you? She's good, and you? Great, she yeah. She can't see anything by that, but of course the x-ray would do it. Um, an x-ray is 180, but if we, because it's a duck, she's going to do it for $100. I just need to make sure that's okay with you. Of course, 100%. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to print some of the yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I should just be a veterinarian at this point. No, I'm just kidding. But they assume it's the exact same thing I did. And since it's a duck and not a dog or a cat, they're actually gonna charge me $80 less than what a normal x-ray would cost. A so normal x-ray is 180 bucks here. They wanna give it to me for 100 bucks. So I said yes, of course. We're gonna see how that goes. The x-ray will determine what happened 100%. We'll see a little pellet in there if it is a pellet. And if there's not a pellet in there, what else is gonna make a little hole like that? An animal, uh, maybe a bird pecked them or something. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? We'll see in a bit. It is currently 3.46. <clears throat> I went and ate lunch, came back. I mean, I have been waiting here for four hours. Four hours this has been going on. Hopefully it's good news. That's all I can hope for. And so I just pick them up and- Yeah, and just squirt it usually in the- Inside. Back corner of the mouth. Um, so it's 210. Okay. That wasn't too bad actually. No, it wasn't. Whew, I'm about to get my duck back. Good to go. Paid for everything. There's no pellet? No. It's only the, the good is over here, but I don't see the pellet. Okay. okay, do you think it's a it was a pellet though? It can be a pellet, yeah. Yeah? You can just sit it in the back seat okay. for me if you can. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Appreciate you. it. But I, uh, in the x-ray, didn't show up the, the pellet, okay? Okay. Thank you. So Have much. a good day. There was not a pellet. There's nothing else. Even she said, we don't know, but we, we assume. There's nothing else that's gonna make a little small insert like that on a duck. I do have its medication here now. So we got the medication. I just dropped the medication. I rescued this little duck. I'm not gonna let him die from some bag that wants to come in my backyard and shoot my duck, I'll tell you that. Come on, girl. It's been a long day at the vet for you. Here we go. Here we go. Drink up some water. These two ducks pick on her. And that's why her neck's all messed up. Um, but she'll find a spot. Usually she keeps going over there, over there, hidden in the back. I put her with the gentle giants over here. They live with our little brown chicken. Never harm her. These are like the two big old, gent as, as she attacks the other pig. They don't like other pigs. That's why they're split, but they are gentle giants. Lady May is a gentle giant. And so are you, Mango. Don't act tough and big. Oh God, I was gonna say big, but yeah, you'll, you'll take that big spot. That's for sure. So let me give you a little rundown on Miss Ducky here. She does not like to be held. I want to be held. The hole's right here. And it's, as a matter of fact, it's not nearly as bad as it was already. Yay. See it? See it? It's all dried up. It's kind of yeah. healing itself. But that's like right in the side under the wing. Look how beautiful. All the pigs are like, what the heck are you doing? Two five. Two five. Point two five. Shot that time. It's a great shot. A little on my finger, but we're good. All right, mission accomplished. Now we gotta find the cat. Medicine is done. Kaferos, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed. Little ducky is gonna make a full recovery, and um, you no, know, we'll just keep an eye on her. Do the medications every day that we need to. Thank you all so much for watching, making it to this part mm -hmm. of the video. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe so you can watch the healing of our mallard duck.
And to whoever shot this duck, I got you on camera, so cops will be at your front doorstep tomorrow. <laughs>